in the diagram x y z this is x y z is an equilateral triangle of size six centimeters and t is the midpoint of x y okay we have to find the tangent of angle x z t let's identify all this information that we are being given first we are told that this triangle is equilateral meaning that this side this side and this third side they are equal okay however we are told that t this point t is the midpoint of x y so this point t being the midpoint means that it divides this line into two equal parts so the length of this will also be the length of this all right now we are told that each of the side is actually six centimeters so if we are to label that we have this as six centimeters we have this as six centimeters and then here is also six centimeters but now we have been told that they are divided into two equal parts so this will be three centimeters and this will be three centimeters all right then we are to find the tangent of angle x z t so let's find that x this is x then z this is z then t so the tangent we are supposed to find is this particular one we can call it theta all right now we can see that this is a right angle here already this is a right angle in which you can use the trigonometry identity so to find the tangent okay so to get the tan of the angle we are looking for we can say it is tan theta but from trigonometry identity we know so tan is opposite over the adjacent okay and for this particular question the opposite is three but now look at this we don't know the adjacent this is the adjacent the longest side is the hypotenuse the side facing the angle is the opposite and this third side is the adjacent we don't know we can call that x okay this is x so let's say three over x now how do we find our x we can use pythagoras theorem okay by pythagoras theorem let me just abbreviate that by pythagoras theorem we know that the square of the hypotenuse 6 raised to power 2 is the sum of the square of the opposite 3 raised to power 2 and the square of the adjacent x raised to power 2 okay so if we have to solve that that means that x square is c square minus 3 square all right 6 raised to power 2 is 36 3 raised to power 2 is 9 36 minus 9 that is 27 so x it so s itself is going to be the square root of 27 and square root of 27 is the square root of 9 times 3 which is 3 root 3 because the square root of 9 is 3 okay so that square on top of 9 i've been taking care of we just only have this other root that is remaining okay so now we have gotten x to be 3 root 3 but nobody asks us for that then we can say the tan theta which is the tangent of the angle x z t that we are asked to find is going to be 3 over x now we can say that x is 3 root 3 okay now if you are to do this you can say this 3 you cancel this 3 such that the tan of the angle we are asked to find of angle x z t is equal to 1 over root 3 all right and looking at the options we can see option a that is 1 over root 3 this, this is quite interesting okay is our understanding of sokatua sokatua and our understanding of the pythagoras theorem that was applied there that helped us to solve this question correctly to get our answer as 1 over root 3 a fence 2.4 meters tall is 10 meters away from a tree of height 16 meters. We have to calculate the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from the top of the fence. A picture is worth a thousand words. So this is like a pictorial view of what we should be looking at. Okay. And in looking at it like that, we have this. Let's say this is our horizontal ground. Okay. We are told that. The fence, which is 2.4 meters tall. So, yeah, this is the fence. This is the fence. 
it is 2.4 meters tall so this uh, it is 2.4 meters okay and then it is 10 meters away from the tree so the distance between the fence and the tree here yeah, is 10 meters okay but the tree is of height 16 meters so from the ground level up from here down this was given as 16 meters okay now we are told to calculate the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from the top of the fence so what we are being asked is this that if somebody is now making some observations from the top of this fence let's say somebody is observing just like this is looking at the top of the tree so if you are looking at the top of the tree normally the eye should look just straight okay but that is to the horizontal that is without the angle of elevation but now if you are bringing the angle of elevation in that means the person will be looking from here to the top of the tree okay so now looking at this we are to calculate the angle of elevation of the top of the tree of this tree top here but from the top of the fence this is the top of the fence and this is the angle that we have to find let's call that theta i want to tone down this particular diagram so that we can see our information clearly okay so yes this is what we have now let me just complete this diagram because if from the ground level here to the top of the tree is 16 meters and already from the ground level to the top of the fence is 2.4 meters then we can find this particular place to be 16 minus 2.4 so 16 meters minus 2.4 meters that will be 13.6 meters okay and here this particular distance from the position of the observer to the same level on the tree it's going to be 10 meters just like the 10 meters that we have gotten here so we are looking for this particular angle so relating the angle to the norm that we have this will be the opposite this side is the opposite to that angle this 10 meters is the adjacent to the angle okay so what is relating the opposite and the adjacent from our soccer tour we will collect soccer tour you can see that is the opposite and the adjacent that tan theta tan theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent such that our tan theta in this particular question will be the opposite is what is 13.6 okay over 10 13 point six over 10 is 1.36 and then theta in that case will be actan of 1.36 so we need to bring in our calculator we say we are looking for actan 1.36 okay so this is 53.67 so this is 53.67 degrees and if you look at the options that we have we can see option b is corresponding to that and it is the fact that we are able to interpret our question correctly and just oppose the right angle triangle from that particular interpretation of the question that is what enabled us to be able to say yes yeah, this is the right angle triangle and then in that case you can use the trigonometric identity so to find the angle in question so the correct option is option b which of the following is not a sufficient condition for two triangles to be congruent okay so we need to understand what is being meant by the word congruent okay and i i have this beautiful set of rules from online math learning.com that are brought in that will help us to actually understand this now congruency is being defined as a similarity between two triangles in which you can look at the features of the sides and the angles of those two triangles to see if they are equal to one another okay if they are similar if they have shared properties that we can postulate from them and looking at all of this you can see that first if all the sides of the triangles if they are equal 
like here the longest side is equal to the longest side this side is equal to this this and these are equal then we say that the three sides sss they are equal so that fulfills the condition for congruency if on the other hand we have two sides okay you can see these two sides and the included angle that's why they said SAS, the two sides and the angle between them. And that's why you are seeing this angle between them. If they are equal, then the two triangles are congruent to one another. In the other case, we have two angles, okay? Like here, we have this angle and this angle and this angle, and you see. And then there is a common side that is also equal. So these two angles are equal. And then this side that is standing between those two angles, they are also equal. Then the condition for congruency is being met now on the other side if you have two angles and the side that is actually flushing the two of them here we have this angle and this angle and this is the side that is flushing the two of them okay they are also these two triangles they are also congruent and then for the right angle triangle of course if they are both right angle triangles then angle 90 is being included okay then two sides like here the hypotenuse and they are just same. They are also equal. So for these five cases, congruency is going to be met. However, if we have two sides, okay, but the angles is not the included angle. Like here, look at this. We have six and we have eleven. Also here, we have six. We have eleven. But the angle in question, look at this angle here. Hmm? This included angle here is not the same as this included angle here. So the sides and an external angle. If it is an external angle, then the condition for congruency is not being met and looking at all the options that we are giving you can see aas we have aas that is met sss of course that is straight sss is met sas ss is met but ssa the two sides and a an angle to the side then in that particular case it is not going to meet the condition for congruency so option d here is the correct answer So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.